I think that we can almost all agree that one of the best qualities and features of any update in ARC is when we get new dinos. And with update 4.54 for the ARC Olympus map, that's exactly what we got from the map creator, is the three exclusive dinos from the Lost Island map. And today, I'm going to be taking you around the Arc Olympus map to show you the locations as to where you can find these three dinos and give you a quick taming guide on how to get them for yourself. So, let's jump into it, shall we? Alright, we have found ourselves a Cinema Crops. And in order to tame this guy, they're actually a pretty easy tame. So, uh, our taming rates are turned up though, but I'll just show you guys here real quick. And all you need to do is have... Uh, chitin in your feeding slot, the last slot here, which is this one down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, you have chitin in there. Uh, just make sure that all around you is safe and once you're within range, they will uh, basically come for you uh, with the heart symbols and uh, basically <laughs> it just means that they want to be tamed. So um, if your taming rates are on a normal, then all you have to do is just uh, give them their food and rinse and repeat and basically follow them uh, where they end up going to until they are hungry again. So just a quick quick way for taming for you. Um, now currently for these guys, this is one spot right here and we are currently sitting at 60.1 by 72.7. Uh, on the GPS you can see my map there on the left. Uh, this is one of the beaver pools and basically I'll show you guys the aerial view. So I have found a couple that kind of stretch along this shore to kind of the mid jungle area. And if you are to continue following it all the way over to the redwoods, I'll gam it down a little bit. Uh, along this jungle area was one of the main areas where I found a couple in my endeavors. Uh, you can see the redwoods is right there just for your reference. So this was one of the main areas that I found them. And I'll show you guys a secondary area here real quick. All right, and so secondary area, uh, there was one here when I was playing last. It doesn't seem to be here at the moment, uh, but we are currently at Craig's Island and it is around 86.7 by 44.8. Uh, but you can see on my map to the left there, it is this island cluster around here. Uh, like I said, there was one here earlier. It seems to be gone, so I can't show you guys at the moment. Uh, but yeah, just uh, kind of southeast of the volcano here. And that's gonna be a couple spots for the cinema crops. All right, so what to do with one of these guys once you get one? Well. We're going to take a look at a couple of their really unique and cool abilities. Uh, first of which is going to be their ability to hover. So if you are running around by yourself in a cave or on the world map uh, and you're coming across creatures that you want to take out, well, you can basically hover above them with these guys out of the reach of their danger. And basically you can then go and take out at your leisure. Number two, these guys have a really cool ability uh, that allows them to scream at creatures and will keep those creatures uh, with a fear buff on them so that they will basically stay back from you. Uh, in which case, if they're not aggroing you and they're running away, well, then you can pick them off as you see fit. So, uh, And thirdly, from way up high, if you are looking to try to get flying around the map, let's say, and get into long distances, well, these guys have a really awesome ability that acts just like a glider. And so, if you jump off of a high cliff, you can take one of these guys and basically fly around as you see fit. Yeah, I like these guys. So, uh, that's going to do it for the Cinema Crops. All right, so next up on our list is going to be the Dino Pithecus. And... Uh, basically, you could find them anywhere around the green obby in this jungle below me here. So, uh, I'm going out all the way that way towards the swamp. So, they are scattered along here. Uh, currently, I'm sitting at around 63.7 by 72.5. As you can see on my GPS, I am uh, just a little bit, I guess, northwest of the green obby here. You can see on my map. There is also two other places where you can find the Dinopithecus. Uh, basically, they will be in both of the Redwoods areas. Areas, uh, as you can see on the map there. 
And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna look at trying to tame one real quickly here, see if I can show you guys just how you can get your own. Let's go see if we can find one, shall we? Alright, so I found a pack of the Dinopithecus here, uh, just, as I said, on the other side of the green obby. And these guys are a bit of a weird kind of tame, so we're gonna see what we can do here to try and get them. But, they're not just your average, normal, knockout tame. So what you need to do is when you find the pack, don't kill the alpha, but kill the others in the group. And I don't know if we can get this Dimorphodon out of here. There we go. And now we are going to... Oh, man, you guys are quick. All right, so we want you gone. And then what that does is it scares the alpha if you kill them within range from that pack. And what we're looking for is the alpha to lose to lose that glow. So once that alpha loses its glow, now what we need to do is we need to knock it down to less than 85% health. Now, once it gets underneath 85, without killing it, it should walk around. Okay, now once it walks around, we got to have some kibble in our inventory and then you go up and feed it and voila now obviously as i said before our taming rates are turned up so you will have to do that several times uh, i am using exceptional kibble my understanding is, is that you can use uh crops uh like the uh salvo roots and the carrots whatnot uh, to tame these guys if you don't have access to the kibble, but that is your dino Pinagus. Once you get them, they don't need to have a saddle. You can just jump on and ride them. Uh, they do have a very cool long range jump to them, so they can get into some pretty crazy places. Uh, I believe they can climb pretty good as well too. Uh, they have a really cool attack that stomps the ground and knocks out a whole bunch of <laughs> resources in the process so but uh yeah that's a just a quick tame for the dinopithecus all right and so of course we have saved the best but hardest for last uh which is the amagosaurus so i've got a line on one down there these guys are a little bit tricky uh in terms of taming so we are currently sitting at 15.5 by 65.9 on the GPS. You can see my map to the left there. Uh, I'll also show you two other spots on the map here uh, where you can also find uh, the Amagosaurus as well too uh, that I know of. Uh, and with that, we are just on the edge of the desert. So you can see the broken red obelisk over there and just on the backside here. Now these guys are a bit of a different kind of tame. So uh, what you need to do, I pull up my spyglass. This is a female 140. You must be under the effects of an insulating soup to tame. So I have some soups. We are going to jump on down. And what you want to do is you want to get yourself uh, in line with these guys. Uh, and once you do, then basically you're going to take them around and you're going to kill creatures with them in order to tame them. So I'll show you what I mean here in a moment. All right. So as you can see, it is, it is not, there we go. Hunt with the Amargar. Am Amarga <laughs> to increase taming, however you pronounce that. Okay, so now I have s I have basically synced myself with this creature uh, with my soup, and what we're gonna do is, well, we need to go around and we need to get a bunch of stuff killed and get it tamed. So, uh, of course, the soups they don't last forever, so uh, yeah, you gotta watch your timer with that as well too. But basically, we're gonna go kill some creatures and uh, get this taming going. And of course, I'm on fire. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you got to be careful because these guys will throw out that uh, that fire damage there. So you don't want to be caught on that. 
Uh, as you can see, we've killed a few creatures. We are at 6.7% and 100% effective taming. Now, you want to be careful, too, while you are killing creatures because you don't want to hit these guys uh, as you will cause them to, I believe it's aggro onto you. I don't want to try it. I remember reading a little bit about these guys. And, yeah, so you, you definitely want to avoid hitting them. All right. I completely forgot. Oh, <laughs> here we go. That you have to have kibble as well to feed these guys when they get hungry all right so we are in the midst of a battle here i'm trying so hard not to hit my guy there goes that are you hungry again there we go perfect all right so we have now tamed ourselves an armagosaurus i lost the other one unfortunately uh what i was forget oh, all right hello mr rg uh so what i was forgetting earlier was that um you actually have to have uh, exceptional kibble on you as well too or some oh hello right in my face uh, have some uh, good veggies uh, so the salva roots or rocker roots stuff like that uh, in your last uh, hot bar slot and basically what these guys are gonna do is they're gonna run around and they're gonna attack different creatures uh, and you want to defend them you want to kill the creatures that they are attacking and by doing so that will raise their uh, taming uh, effectiveness or, or rate I guess um, and effectively be taming them and they will also in between intervals of killing stuff want some of that exceptional kibble so you'll have to alternate between killing and feeding killing and feeding until you have your armagosaurus tamed so uh, yeah that's that for the armagosaurus Okay, and as you can see, the Amagosaurus uh, do require a saddle in order to be able to ride them, uh, which can be unlocked in your engrams at level 55, as you can see here. And they are going to run you six Amagosaurus spikes, uh, fiber, hide, and metal, uh, just for the base level primitive saddle for these guys. So you are going to have to go out and farm yourself some Amagosaurus spikes. Uh, that being said, I've got my kind of trio here in front of me. Uh, these guys are really cool. I'm not going to go through all of their abilities. Uh, I will leave some of that for you guys to discover on your own or might cover a future video just to show off what these guys can do. Uh, but they are pretty cool. They've definitely got some neat abilities to them. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's our trio, you guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know. What do you think? Uh, which one of these guys are you looking forward to the most? Uh, yeah, and uh, if you have some other places where you have found them on this map, I'm only showing you just a couple of each. Uh, I know that there is a few more spots out there where you can get them. Um, but yeah, if you have a spot where you were successful and found some, then please drop a comment down below. Let me know some coordinates uh, and a zone. Uh, but with that, you guys, uh, yeah, I hope you all have an awesome day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you guys on the arc.